Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. You want me to I'll start. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning. You know, mm -hmm. make us up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry, sorry. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in with us. Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. So, as you know, that EC is an organization in uh, Boston and uh, created a foundation, not a foundation, a coalition in the South Shore to support the immigrants, the newcomers that come in um, after September 2020 21. So in that spirit, they work, they call us to work together so we can support the community, the Haitian community in Boston. So we could, they could not do that on their own because they're all the way in Boston and uh, who better knows Boston and the South Shore than the organization that's on ground. So they call upon Haitian community partners and uh, MCHS to work together so we can form this coalition so we can support uh, immigrant or new immigrant that come in here. So how are we gonna do that? It's the collaboration. The collaboration uh, between the Haitian Community Partner, MCHS, and EC. And other um, non-profit organizations as well in the community. They might not be on the <laughs> banners here, but silently they will work together. We will work together with them. The churches, we will work together with them to make sure we support our community. So I'm not gonna keep you too long, so I'm going to uh, introduce uh, Franz that will say a few words on behalf of MCHS. Good morning, everybody. My name is Franz Suzia, as you know, from Mass Community Health Services. Uh, Marlene already told us mostly everything. Then welcome to IFC Coalition and South Shore. So uh, MCHS and HCP, like she said, then you see it on the board, both he has other agencies. They're not even here, but we have we don't have time to put everything on there, but they're here uh, behind the curtain. <laughs> so then we're gonna work together. We're gonna start doing it well. Then we have two offices, 37 Belmont Street and 71 Legion Parkway. Yeah. So you guys welcome to our community Brockton and if C community uh, partners will work with everybody. Even we don't see them, we're gonna work well, and then we can make it happen. This is why we want. We're gonna say good morning again. <laughs> Welcome to Director and Bishop. Before before we continue, <laughs> we need a so, <laughs> I know exactly. Before we continue, uh, I will introduce you as well to uh, um, yeah, the executive director for Haitian Community Partners. It's um, Anthony Bishop. He's the one that behind the scene helping us do. Um, everything that we need to do and he is a pastor as well he's going to bless okay. us and then so we can uh, open and say more words about uh, the work that lies ahead of us we recognize that this work is not done by the hands of man but by the spirit of a living God let us bow our heads in prayer father God in the name of Jesus with whom I serve Lord we ask that you bless the united among us today Lord we ask that no chain no chain Keep our immigrants in despair. Lord, we come unified under your spirit that the gates of heaven are opening up. So all that are welcome, not only in this place, from the North Shore to the South Shore, East and West. Lord, we come united as one family, believing in your spirit. Lord, give us safety. Give us love. Give us grace and mercy as we move forward in this work. Let us be blessed, not by our hands by your hands. In the name of Christ we serve. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. With no further ado, I would like to introduce Dr. Gabo. Is She is the president of AC. She's come in and give us more information. And what is the work that we're going to do in the Haitian community in Brockton, in the South Shore. I don't want to say, I kept saying Brockton because that's my home. Yeah. But uh, you know, charge it to my mind and my heart if I don't, if I continue to say uh, uh, Brockton. But in the South Shore, we will cover Brockton, Stoughton, uh, mm -hmm. Randolph, uh, Avon, and Taunton, and uh, all the surrounding in the community. So with no further ado, so. Thank this, you. Thank Dr. you, Marlene. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. So uh, such a pleasure to be here 
with you all and as you know uh, for the past year and a half uh, the immigrant community especially the Haitians who have been coming uh, to the US they they came with so many so many challenges so many uh, difficulties uh, some of them came basically just empty handed they had absolutely nothing uh, from uh, shoes clothes and everything else uh, we as leaders in the community we had to welcome them and we had to provide for them and as the work is really get extending before be just right before our eyes so one thing that we've been thinking is how do we serve people where they are how do we you know as uh, community organ based organization as leaders as churches you know as elected officials how do we come together to serve and that's one of the reasons why we came up with this idea. You know, let's serve them where they are. Uh, they are in the South Shore. They don't have to go all the way to Boston to receive services. They are in the North Shore. They don't have to go all the way to Boston to receive services. They can receive services right in their communities. And that's one of the reasons why last week we launched the North Shore Coalition, you know, serving Everett, Lean, just name all of the uh Malden, 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 Malden. Right. and then here we are today in the south shore thinking about Randolph, Brockton, mm -hmm. Stoughton and all of the other surrounding areas and how do we best do the work that we do we do it with the partners who are on the ground and that's one of the things that I work, that I tell all uh, the collaborators all of the partners we are not here to replace any other organization we are here to work together mm -hmm. because we believe that those who are placed in their community, they know the community best and they can best serve our people. And one of the things that I have to say, we are so grateful for, uh, you know, the mayors of, you know, all, I mean, uh, in, uh, in the North Shore, the mayor is with us, you know, 100%. And here also in the South Shore, the mayor is with us. And uh, unfortunately, they are not here with mm -hmm. us this, this morning, but next Monday, we will have the, you know, hopefully the mayor and a number of ele other elected officials and government uh, agencies to be with we, us. We have one of them here. Yeah. One oh, of yeah, them. The one of the <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, wonderful, wonderful. Thank and you. City Councilor. City Councilor, yeah. thank you. And you can, yeah, we'll let you know in a few minutes. I mean, like I said, uh, we wanted to have this today as the first kind of, you know, get to know each other. Yeah. But uh, we, we will, we will gather in again next Monday with a number of others so just to celebrate, yeah. celebrate our work together. So one thing that I said, uh, who else is more qualified to serve our people? Should we rely on those who do not have any background, any culturally uh, competent knowledge? We are the one who knows our communities best. And that's the reason why I said when our immigrants walk to the door and then we can greet them in Haitian Creole, come on ye, kisha no kaido, sak passe. So it makes such a huge difference than having to go to a door where they have to say good morning, they have to call an interpreter, they don't know the language, they don't know the culture, they don't even know how to serve them. So I think we are ble best placed to really serve them, and what I said, with respect and dignity. Right. Serving them in a way that they feel that they are welcome, mm -hmm. that they are not less than anyone. Because when they come here, we know they come here to serve. They come here to work. They come here to contribute. You know, contrary to the narrative that has been going out there, those immigrants, like they are less than, they are, you know, criminal, they are. No, most of my people, they are wonderful people and they want to contribute to their communities. And that's the reason why it is in our best interest to welcome them with respect and dignity. Definitely. When we do so, guess what? They are motivated to contribute. They are motivated to work. They are motivated to bring all of us together in helping our economy to develop, helping our community to do, to do, to do, to do well. So that's one of the reasons why we are so happy to be with you, Marlene, to be with you, France, and all of the others we know that could not make it today, but who will be joining us hopefully next week. We are so happy and blessed to have all of you with us and to do this work together. And again, we believe in unity. We are in yeah. May. May is our Haitian Heritage Month right. when we are celebrating yeah. unity. And right. in unity, yeah. we grow stronger. In <laughs> unity, we do, we do uh, better. So again, thank you. Thank you so much. And I cannot uh, stop not to first uh, uh, say a big thank you to Bishop uh, Tony for all your support. <laughs> He's been yeah. with us on day one, helping us to put all of those things together. 
I cannot stop by not thinking, you know, uh, my uh, combatant, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> always working, you know, behind the scene to make right. things happen. And uh, uh, is KSD downstairs? Right oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we have our uh, new coordinator who is coming, KSD. So thank you. Thank you for, for all the work. And think about uh, other partners. We yes. have. We're here. Yeah, ILC, exactly. Jackie Poto, who is also a partner who is yeah. going to be working yeah. with us. And all of you guys who are here, Pierre, Galen, uh, 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 yeah, Ms. Devon, and so on and so forth. Thank you so much, Teddy, for coming and for making this a reality. So it's only the beginning. Yeah. And that's what that's I was saying. Yeah. It's yeah. only the beginning. This is like a little tiny seed that we are planting in the soil of the South Shore Coalition. And then with water, with love, mm -hmm that little you know, seed is going grow. to grow yeah. and then before we know it we want to see that big tree right planted you know by streams of water who is going to help all of the new migrants who are coming here mm -hmm. to find the hope that they are looking for Definitely. and that's the goal that the goal is for us to work together mm -hmm. and to plant to water that seed and that's why we, love, we need our elected officials we need our mayor because we're going to have to water that seed so that that seed can grow